So whether you uh, found a furry friend under the tree or you're looking to adopt in the new year, expand your family, stay tuned for some helpful ways to introduce your new pet to the family and how to really help them adjust with ease. Look at all these cuties I got here. You don't want to miss it. We'll be right back. Back now at 940. Good day on Pet Patrol. And as many families introduce a new four-legged friend to the home, it can often be kind of tricky to help them adjust to a new environment. There's a lot going on, especially mm -hmm. when you have other pets around. That's right. So here to help us keep up with all of our furry friends and happy and healthy under the roof, we've got Nova Mobile vet owner and chief veterinarian Eric Crime with us, along with some helpers today. Good to see you. And uh, look. You brought a furry friend with you. Can you tell us who this is? This is Loki. Uh, this is my pup. Uh, he's there to demonstrate sit and other training techniques for him. He sometimes gets a little nervous, but he loves uh, hanging out with my uh, daughters here and the rest of the family. He's a great family dog, and we're hoping a lot of uh, other homes uh, rescued and adopted uh, a good family dog as well. And, you know, there's a lot of tricks that you can do to set it up right and, and try to make sure that uh, it's a good addition to the home. Yeah. Fitting a, a pet into your family, I mean, really takes a lot of finesse. It, right? It does, it does. You, you want to go in with a game plan. You know, typically what we're going to say is make a safe space for the new pet, um, oh, for a dog. You know, if you a have separate a separate space. Exactly. Okay. Have a crate and, you know, uh, you know, we'll put baby gates up to kind of keep them isolated. Hmm. That way, if you have resident dogs, you know, they, they can have a space where the resident dog can kind of roam, roam around the rest of the house. And the new addition is in a safe space. And so you kind of have a more controlled uh, a meeting, you know. So you don't, you know, throw them in the one spot. You give them the safe space where you feed them, uh, oh. bring them their water, give them positive of reinforcements, try to get into a good routine that you do on a day-to-day -day basis, and that's the best way to kind of keep them adjusted and, you know, slowly introduce them so the hope is, all right, if there's a gate dividing them, the dogs kind of sniff each other, kind of get, you know, some nonverbal communication go, you can read how that goes, then slowly introduce them ideally in like a neutral place, like a backyard or someplace else, not, you know, around food or other things that can trigger aggressive behavior. Okay. Mm. You know, what's interesting is that dogs can be very territorial. Yes. And yes. so when you're bringing a new dog into someone's home, particularly a dog that's already kind of marked his mm -hmm. territory. Uh, how do you then take that conversation when you have kids involved? Excellent. You got to keep them under constant supervision. Every dog, you know, uh, especially around children, you got to make sure, you know, half the time I'm watching the uh, kids, not my wonderful da daughter's angels here, <laughs> but kids in general, you got to worry about their interaction with the dogs, that, yeah. you know, the toddlers and things like that. You know, they might pull on a ear or grab something, and a nice dog might do things that, you know, or otherwise normally wouldn't. Um, so you want to slowly introduce them, you know, uh, you know, desensitize, you know, both the, the, the pets to the kids mm -hmm. and the kids to the pet, and try to set some gr ground rules where, you know, they don't get them too excited. You slowly introduce them to your family members. It's important to have a lot of one-on-one -on -one time, you know, with honestly everyone in the family. And if they can work on training and feeding and positive reinforcement, you create that human-animal bond and, you know, make your furry friend in, uh, part of the family. Are there mm. any red flags to look out initially when you introduce um, a new pet to another one where you're saying, okay, this is just not going to work. I've got to separate you guys. Excellent question. Um, you know, certainly, you know, there can be an adjustment period where, you know, there's some growling and some posturing. And a lot of times they got to figure out, you know, their pecking order and after they do that a lot of times, you know, uh, they're going to work things out and be better. But obviously, in some instances, that's not the case. So you got to look, you know, and, and know kind of dog behavior, look to see where they're being aggressive, mm. look to see is it uh, more bark than bite, as the expression goes. But most of the time, it's bark with the average dog. With some dogs, you know, you don't know where they come from, and they could have, you know, uh, behavioral traits that make them better at a solo dog than a pet. But you want to do the slow introduction, give the new dog a safe space so the resident dog can sniff around, get used to him, and then, you know, slow, meet him on his own terms. Okay, I want to get some tips from, uh, you brought your daughters with you. I I'm did, sure that I they did. are probably <laughs> experts as well. Uh, ladies, do you have any tips for, uh, for dog owners or people who are potentially looking to own dogs? Just make sure you're ready for the responsibility of, like, you know, taking your dog on walks and, like, playing with them and spending time with mm -hmm. them. Ah, that's a great tip. How about you? You could feed them treats. Treats. Ah, you're the treat treats. one. Lots of treats. All right. Oh, wait, I this is it. my most important question because yeah. last time you guys were here, you told Holly that you wanted a new puppy. Oh, oh, the look on your face. Did you get a new puppy for Christmas under the tree? Well, yeah. no, I'm starting Dad. to think this one is from the South Pole. Oh. <laughs> Santa's going to work year-round. We're going to find a good fit eventually. That's but right. yes, uh, you know, we were not uh, there underneath. And I was thinking, Holly's not here today. I wonder if they're going to bring thought it you up were gonna get up. You no. thought you were going to get out free. You know, no, Grace because Grace Grace no, no. Said, please add. Yeah. We're all Santa's <laughs> helpers here, OK? Yeah. A lot of elves. You exactly. guys have, yes, the, you have the most well-behaved children I have ever seen, all three of them. Yes, <laughs> thank just, you. Just amazing. Uh, really great advice. 
Thanks uh, so much. Thank you so much. I know a lot of people are adding to their family. Here's all the contact info for Dr. Crian and Nova Mowet, uh, Mobile Vet. We appreciate you so thank much. Thank you so much for Pleasure coming. Pleasure coming on. We'll Ladies, keep working good to on see it. you. Okay, thank you. Yes. <laughs> we got you.